Okay, so the first thing uh, I want to talk about is the front end of the gun. So that's going to be, you know, the air caps. Um, let's talk a little bit about what different types of air caps that are available with this new gun. All right, so there's five air caps available. Okay. There's conventional, okay. HVLP, LVMP, okay. high tech, and airbrush. Okay, so the high tech and the airbrush are actually kind of a two new caps for us. So can you just talk a little bit about what, what the high tech and the airbrush cap is? So the high tech is kind of a hybrid between an HVLP okay. and a conventional. All right. So you'd have high transfer efficiency with really good atomization. Okay, so we're talking still something around the 35% Correct. Transfer efficiency. Yep. Okay, good. And then uh, the other one, the airbrush. The airbrush is a round spray pattern. Okay. So. And it's just meant for real fine detail. Real fine spray. detail spray. Yep. All right. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about needle and nozzle options. So, so first of all, I'm just going to pull the air cap off so we can see that. All right, and there's the uh, uh, nozzle. What are the different sizes in the in the needle nozzle that are available? So in stainless, we have needle. We have five sizes from 0.5 millimeter up okay. to 1.3 millimeter. Okay, very good. And then uh, the other one, the, we have a carbide as well. We also do have carbide available in two different sizes, and that's 1.0 millimeter and 1.5 millimeter. Very good. All right. So the next thing we want to talk about is the back end of the gun, um, and that'll be the adjustment for the travel on the needle nozzle. And it looks like we have uh, three different styles here. So John, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and start with this one right here. All right, so first it's a cap that you can adjust the uh, the needle travel by screwing it on the end of the gun and then a locking ring to set it to okay. where you want it. So that's just the most it's basic the most simple design. basic design, correct? Okay, very good. Then this one here, what? how does this one work? Uh, we call this the indexing, so there's actually a, a ball and a spring and you can index it to where you want it. Okay, very good. And then the final one over here? And the final one gives you ultimate precision where you can adjust the back knob almost like a micrometer Oh, okay. any position that you want. And there's also numbers on there to show you where you're at. Okay, very good. The next thing we want to talk about is, is the manifold or the porting. So we've got two different styles here, John. Uh, talk a little bit about, about this one first. So first we have the manifold list style. So all the porting goes directly into the gun, fluid and air. All right, so we've got the, all the air coming right off the bottom side of the gun, and then we got side ports for the fluid, yep. and there's two side ports on there. So this gun would be set up for circulation, paint circulation. Correct. We also send a plug with the gun so you can cap it off if it is a single point use. Okay, very good. So let's talk about this one then because this one's actually got a manifold on there. Yep. You can see the fluid and air connections are in the back of the manifold. Okay. And then this one's only got one fluid, so this one's been capped, so this is not for circulation. Correct. All right. So let's talk about the benefits of this manifold and, and why that uh, could be beneficial for the end user. Uh, mostly servicing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy to take offline without disconnecting all your fluid and air lines. Sure. And then so. when you go to reconnect it, your manifold's still blocked in the right location, right? Correct. Yep. All right. Very good. I, I think what I'd like to do, John, is if we can go ahead and disconnect that manifold for the gun from the gun so we can see what, how they connect, that'd be great. Sure. So you've just got the two uh, bolts up on top. Yes. And they are captured. Okay, so basically what we got here, and, and I see this kind of fell out, um, this belongs right up in the, uh, the plug port. This side right here is the one that we're not using, mm -hmm. so this little plug would just sit right in that port and, and cause a seal, correct? Yeah, it also reduces the amount of dead space. Oh, sure, within for the flushing. fluid for flushing. Yep. Okay, very good. And then the rest of what we got going on here is just some uh, O-rings for sealing. Uh, looks like air lines. Yep, the rubber ones are for air. Okay. And the fluid is a Teflon O-ring. All right, very good. John, uh, let's talk a little bit about mounting and how we would mount this gun. Let's start with this one first. All right, so what we have here is a threaded hole in the top with a, a slot okay. for alignment, so you just mount it with a, with a bolt. Oh, fairly straightforward. Yep, very simple. Okay, very good. How about the other one? So the other one is a post mount, so this comes with the gun. Okay. Post, there's a T on the end there and also a slot in the manifold. For aligning it, okay. For aligning it. So you'd line that up and put the bolt through. And then also we have a couple set screws on the bottom. Tighten those up to make sure this bolt does not back out. Okay, and then you just clamp onto that. And clamp onto that, yep. All right, very good. 